Hey y'all, it's Laura with Cotsburg Creations. I'm a part-time picker, thrifter, and reseller in Central Mississippi. And today I have a haul video for you from several different stores and I'll try to go through that as we go. This is not uh, how you usually see me. I guess this is probably a day in the life of. Um, I do have a full-time job. I am home today. I think I mentioned in our last video, we have 19-year-old twin girls and one of them. Um, is disabled and she's a little under the weather today, so I'm home with her today. Um, so I thought I, I need to get uh, some videos done and I need to get some listings done. I am super, super behind. My regular job has been very busy lately and when I get home, I'm just kind of mentally drained. So let's get to it. Um, my job, my full-time job, I'm stationed in one small, we're, I'm, I live in a very rural area in Mississippi, and um, my main office is also stationed in a rural area, but I'm, I travel some during the week um, to different locations, so that allows me after work to kind of hit some of the thrift stores. One area has a Goodwill, one area has a Goodwill Benz, um, so I'm able after work to kind of go and hit those where in my area that I live and work, my main office um, does not have anything like that. So, um, I was able to, when I was in one area, go to a thrift store that I had not been to in quite a while because they're only open on like Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So, I'm not always there um, on those days. So, I picked up a Presto um, pressure cooker. Again, I think I mentioned in the last one, I don't know the difference between a canner and a cooker. Um, I wish I was a canner. I wish I had that ability. I have that dream to be a um, homesteader, I guess is what you would say. We do have a small garden each year, but I, I don't can. I've never canned. Um, I think canning scares me a little bit. But so this is a Presto um, pressure cooker. It does have the little trivet in it, and it does have its jiggler too. So that's always good. Um, I got the same, at the same thrift store, I got another canner. It's got a little different jiggler on the top. Um, this is a, this is a Presto also. It's just a little bit different one. I don't know if it's an older model or what. Um, one of these, once you get the um, top to lock, it kind of doesn't want to come undone, so my husband's got to do a little work on it. There's nothing wrong with it. It just is kind of sticking in one spot, so he's going to do a little work on that. All right, at the same place, let's see. I'm trying to, I won't get it all at the same time. I got this vintage. Um, it is Mickey and Company. Mickey and Company. Minnie Mouse denim jacket. It's got the little frayed edges, um, not on the cuffs, just on the hem. And it's got little yellow buttons, um, some little rickrack around the collar. And it's got mini and some flowers. And the back is solid. So this is a girl size five. I just, I like to pick up vintage. I like to pick up vintage Disney. Um, I don't know. I, it's one of those things you just kind of hate to leave. I almost hit myself in the face. This is a vintage Disney store, um, tag. This is a girl's 7-8, and it's princess overalls. So, it just has the three princesses there, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Belle. And it's just long overalls. And at the bottom of one, it's just got some little stars. So I still need to run those through the wash. I picked up this Eleanor Rose Fox shirt. I'm sorry, Emily Rose, not Eleanor. Emily Rose Fox shirt. Um, it is... I'm looking for the size. Uh, a 2T. It's so tiny. Um... It, it does have, I think you can probably see it right there, some little faint spots. I have treated those, and they 
faded, but they didn't come out completely. So you can kind of, I don't know if it's just greasy marks or what exactly, but um, I did put some like Dawn dishwashing detergent on it. I did let it soak. But like when you hold it out or, you know, probably when it's being worn, it's not going to even be noticed. But it just has the little fox. It has the little braided headband there. Um, it's got kind of a little lace trim at the bottom that makes it look like it's got a little undershirt or whatever. But it's just really cute. And I don't think you're going to notice those um, once a child is wearing it and in motion. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm probably not going to be able to locate everything all at the same time, so I'm just going to start pulling stuff. Um, there is a Once Upon a Child in um, the metropolitan area, the Jackson area, and I'd never been in there because I just had never been in there. And I decided to go in one day last week after work and um, just see if they had anything that was reasonable good brand, reasonable price that I could still make a profit off of. So I did pick up some Matilda Jane. This is a Matilda Jane skirt. It's a size eight. And the elastic in it is still really good, but it does appear to be a little stretched. And I think it's because this skirt has a lot of weight. Like this skirt is kind of heavy. Um, it's a little tulle skirt with the little ruffle trim. It's super cute, but I am going to include measurements on this because I feel like um, I just, you can even see kind of just how it kind of hangs right there. I just feel like the weight of the skirt has pulled the elastic some, so I am going to include the measurements because I feel like at this point, um, even though the elastic is good, it's not dry, it still has a lot of stretch that, you know, um, a, a, a bigger a bigger size might could pull this off. So I did pick up that. Um, I paid uh, up for it um, more than I would, you know, at any um, Goodwill or thrift store. But I paid, you know, less than $10. Um, so I still think I can get a decent price for that. Um, I picked this up at the regular Goodwill store. It's um, kite strings, size 7. I just, I like American flag stuff. It's just a... a I don't know if it's a boy sweater or a girl sweater, um, but it was yellow tag and yellow tag was half price that day. So I didn't pay very much for that at all. Um, picked these up, where did I pick these up? I must've picked them up at the bins um, because I wouldn't have paid for a LuLaRoe. Um, I've sold some LuLaRoe, I've still got some LuLaRoe. So I like to pick up patterns that are different and a lot of LuLaRoe is different, but, um, you know, these are just Santa, kind of whimsical. This is in the tween line, so I'll have to look up the size chart and tell you exactly. But um, it is LuLaRoe. It is in their tween, just Santa leggings. And, you know, these are the ones that are really soft. They just don't have a great resale value. I uh, picked this up at the bins as well. It's... Um, it's a Disney tag, but it's it's a size large. It's a Disney store tag, but then it's got some Chinese writing or Japanese writing or something. So it's um, a appliqued Christmas sweater, Mickey and Minnie in a sleigh, a little tree, some snowflakes, and the back kind of has that quilted like pattern. So it's just a nice sweatshirt. Um, I picked up these Matilda Jane size 8 yellow ruffle leggings, the little blue bow. I got these at the bins. got these at the bins. Looked up on these at the bins. And so they still need to go in the wash. Um, I picked up this at Once Upon a Child. It is the T brand, um... Size seven, that's the T logo, if you're not familiar with it. I don't know if you can really see that, but it just says T right there. Size seven, um, Unicorn Pegas pajamas. I'm still in really good condition. I'm probably gonna put them together and make a lot because these are also T. That label's a little different, so it's probably just a different year. 
two size seven ice cream pajamas. So I'm probably gonna lot those together. And I got those at Once Upon a Child. Uh, let's see where we wanna go next. I picked up some um, jeans at the bins. I don't usually pick up jeans at the bins just because it adds to my weight and I try to keep that weight down. Um, but these were a, um, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Citizens of Humanity. This is the Ingrid style. Um, it's a low waist flare um, with some stretch. It's a size 30. Nothing special, just some Citizens of Humanity jeans with the flare bottom. So I got those at the bins as well. Um, it was so funny that the day I went to the bins, when I travel, I listen to YouTube a lot. I listen to other resellers. And um, Kathy and Chris over at Ginger Marvin are probably one of my top. I, I check their videos before. I usually check anybody else's. I do um, listen to Matt a lot at Part-Time Pickers, Part-Time Flipper. Um, and I listened to Josh, Harry Tornado a lot. Um, but this day that I went to the bins that afternoon, I had just listened to Kathy at Ginger Marvin and she was talking about Tommy Bahama. And I have had, I think, one other pair of Tommy Bahama and they've sold. And she was talking about how good they had sold for her recently. So these are just some Tommy Bahama, I found them at the bins, some Tommy Bahama cargo shorts, um, kind of a kind of a chocolate brown, uh, Tommy Bahama Relax Fit. These are a men's 38. Men's 38, they're in good shape. No holes, no cuts, no rips, no stains. All right, I found this at the bins also. It is a Free People, you can see the little copper metal tag there. It's a Free People Extra Small. This is their Intimately line. So this is actually a piece of sleepwear. But you know, I think it could go under a cardigan or be kind of worn by itself even. Just, um, these straps are just bananas. So this is the front. It's got a little detail here. It's kind of an eyelet rust color. And the back is, you make these straps work together and then it ties in the back. So the back is kind of an open back. But that, yeah, that's a Free People, new with tags, extra small. Um, free People's hit or miss for me. I have a few pieces that sold immediately. I have some that I sit on. So this is um, an American Eagle. It is a small just a white tank with kind of patriotic straps and they kind of separate at the top. I just thought it was cute. It's kind of a little short top. Just, you know, with the idea that you've got Memorial Day coming up and Labor, uh, Fourth of July and Labor Day and things like that. So I try to pick up some things that are a little patriotic. So I got this at Once Upon a Child also. It's a Matilda Jane size six, just another little skirt. It's got like um, retro vintage telephones on it. The girl who wears this probably won't even know what those are. <laughs> so again, I did pay up a little bit at Matilda at Once Upon a Child, but I know that um, I can get my money back on those plus some. I am going to try to take um, some stuff to Once Upon a Child and see what kind of prices they'll give me. Um, it's mainly stuff that I've gotten at the bins that I picked up when I first started reselling and I was still trying to figure out what brands, and they're all good brands. They're, they're Nautica, they're Nike, they're Tommy Hilfiger, they're Chaps, but they've just been sitting for almost a year and it's time to do something with them. All right, let's see. I got these linen ivory pumpkin napkins. I think I've got eight. They are from Pottery Barn. And I think I've got eight napkins and the table runner to go with it. So I was excited. I didn't find them all together. I just kind of, at first I found four napkins and then I found six and then I found one more. So I knew there had to be one more somewhere. So I found eight napkins and then I found the table runner in a different bin. So it's kind of a tapestry like feel table runner with the linen and it's, it's really pretty, it's, it's nice. And it's good, it's a good long one. I haven't measured it yet, but it is a nice 
you know, Pottery Barn, Table Runner, and Napkins. So I was excited to find that. This is, um, I just picked it up because it reminded me of summer and maybe somebody going to the beach and just kind of a lightweight. It is, um, it's still got the, still got the Dracline tag on it. Let me see if I can get that off because it's in the way of the sizing. It's a men's extra large. It just says Caribbean or Caribbean. What do you say? Caribbean, Caribbean. Kind of a mint green button up short sleeve it has the slightest little bit of a textured print to it you can see it there um let's see it is i was trying to see exactly what the fabric was it's it's really soft kind of buttery feeling and i don't see it it may have been cut out but anyway it's a man's extra large Mint green, got a nice feel. It's not, it's not linen, but uh, it, it's just, it's a really soft feel to it. Uh, let's see, pick this up at the Benz, Hannah Anderson. Um, this is just a little, you know, zips to here, cable knit, sweater. Hannah Anderson, size 100, so I'll have to look at the size chart and see what that is. I used to know it by heart because my girls wore a lot of Hannah Anderson. Um, this is actually already sold. I've got to get it. This is sold locally. This is just an Old Navy dress. Um, denim with dots. Um, size 2X. It's a short dress. Has a little tie side on the cuff here. Um, just thought it'd be a nice summer dress or, you know, like if you're going to a little pool party or something and make it cool at night. Um... I picked this up at the regular Goodwill store. This is a um, Marmo, Marmot. I've heard both. I really think the T is silent. I think it's Marmo. This is um, a kid's size. I don't know. It's his extra small, so it could. I don't know if it's a lady. It's probably a lady's extra small, actually. It was just in the kid's section. Ladies extra small, brown jacket. And um, I've sold several Marmo pieces before, and they do pretty good. They do pretty good. Let's see. Picked this up. Where did I pick this up? Hmm. Maybe at the bins. It's just a wish list corduroy kind of A-line skirt. Nobody needs it right now, but they might for fall. Um, I'd never heard of this brand before. But I don't know, it, it just felt good to me. Um, and looking at this, I learned nothing. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what that is. I don't even know how to begin to look it up. Is that an L with a tree and a V? Anyway, it's a lady small. And yet, literally, it's just a gray sweatshirt. But it had this nice little zipper. And it has a good feel. It has the rough hem and the kind of rolled hem. And um, the, rough, the rough cuffs. So, of course, I was still looking, trying to figure it out. And when I got to the tag, it told me it was lime and vine. And I looked it up, and some of the lime and vine has pretty good resale value. So, it's just a gray sweatshirt. I'm not expecting a lot out of it. But it does have a good quality feel and the nice little um, kind of a rose, rose, rose gold zipper there. That kind of on a diagonal. Um, Picked this up at the bins. Nothing real special Victoria's Secret, um, pink, kind of jersey style shirt. I think I'm going to have to start backing up from this camera. I feel awfully close to y'all. Got this at the bins. This is a loft. I don't, I, I try not to pick up a lot of loft anymore, um, and Taylor loft, but it was, you know, it just felt good. It just, um, it was clean. It didn't have any issues. It's a ladies size 16 dress. It is a short dress. It is long sleeve, but um, it's just kind of one of those things that you hate to leave it behind. You know, it felt it's good. You can, you, I've gotten to where when I go through the bins, you can, when you feel quality, you know, you just know. Um, and so I hated, I hated to leave it. I say that all the time. I hated to leave it. It's 
probably why my house is full of stuff. All right, this is Inside Out. Picked this up at the bins as well. Um, you know what? I didn't bring put some shoes over here. This is just um, a brand called In Loom. I had never heard of it. It's a medium. Uh, it's kind of a surplus style floral top. Just, I liked the print. I liked the feel. Kind of a balloon, a little bit of a balloon sleeve cuff at the uh, elastic cuff. But I liked the pattern. Just thought it was cute. Um, a lot of times it doesn't matter what the brand is. If I, if I like it, I'll pick it up. Um, Kelly's Kids. Um, my kids grew up with Kelly's Kids. I don't know if they still have Kelly's Kids parties or not. I really haven't heard of them, but again, my girls are 19, so I wouldn't hear about Kelly's Kids parties. Um, but they used to be catalog parties. You went to someone's home. It's like a trunk show. So Kelly's Kids, um, these are a size five purple ruffle leggings with red polka dots. I don't know what you wear with this. I'm sure there's something. I just, I guess I have a little bit of nostalgia about the fact that my kids wore Kelly's kids and I hated to leave it. There you go. There's another, I hated to leave it. Um, these are Matilda Jane, little shorts, um, striped ruffles. They need to go in the wash. Um, they almost look dingy, but it's just that these colors in between are not white. It's kind of a light pink and then a cream, but I am going to throw them in the wash and just freshen them up. Those are Matilda Jane, size eight, little shorts. Found this at the bins. This is a Bowden size 12, I believe. Size 12 floral dress. Kind of gather it at the chest here. Um, with some little detail. And, um, Bowden sells pretty well for me. Where did I get this? I may have picked this up at, um, the thrift store where I got the Disney, vintage Disney. I can't remember. <clears throat> I can't remember. Or, or the bins. I either got it at that thrift store or the bins. It's a mud pie um, size medium. The print just caught my eye. Just a blouse. Um, I got this at that thrift store where I got the vintage Disney. This is a Laura Ashley size 5. It's a pink dress with some smock, pink floral with some smocking. Tie back. And also another Laura Ashley um, this says Laura Ashley London. It's a different, a little bit different tag, a little bit fancier tag. This is a 6T blue and white dress. It does have some of the netting up under it to kind of give it a little fuller appearance. And it had the slightest little stain on the back. And I did treat it. I just treated it. I didn't put the whole dress in the wash. Um... And it did fade a little bit. So once it's probably actually washed, that may um, that may come on off of there. So it's a it's a nice it's a, a nice heavy dress. You can tell that it's quality. It's got the little netting and like the little cotton um, underneath, so that netting's not against the little girl's skin. Picked this up at the same thrift store. I just picked it up because it, of the print and the fact that it was vintage. It's um, Alexis. Size 3T, and you can see it's just the paper tag, so you know it's vintage. It's a romper, an apple romper. Isn't that cute? It's kind of a uh, got a little woven, almost piquet feel to it. I just thought it was super cute, and it was white, and it had no stains on it, so that was that was big. Um, here's the thing about um, Goodwills, thrift stores, whatever. Lighting is horrible, and you do not see things until you get them home. Just like that little Emily Rose um, piece. You know, you, you just couldn't see these little dark spots, even though they're really hard to see. You, you sure couldn't see them in that store. So, I picked up this Shrimp and Grits um, Blue Gingham Crab. 
summer top. It's got the little rick rack at the bottom, the little polka dotted buttons. And when I got it home, of course, I could see some faint stains. I don't think you're going to be able to see that because you see it's just almost like a little greasy mark or something. And I did put the dishwashing detergent on it, but it's still, I let it sit. It still didn't. It came with these red bloomers, and I didn't realize until I got home that these red bloomers are like cheer bloomers. And that's just probably what the little girl wore with them. I mean, it's a what? A 2T, did I say? A 3T. So it really didn't matter kind of what she had on up under them, but these are not the same brand. I may just throw those in to go with it. Um, I can't remember if I've already showed this or not. I picked this up at the bins really for my daughter because she's an Ole Miss fanatic and it's the Coliseum brand. I think I've already showed this. I don't know. Everything just ends up in a pile. It is a ladies large, but um, it was just a little too, a little too clingy because she's a little chesty. So somebody will want it. <laughs> um, I don't pick up a ton of Nike anymore. But these, of course, just felt good. They felt quality. They're Nike flare leggings. They are a ladies small. So they're just, um, they've got the back zipper on the back side of the waist. Um, they've got the inner, the inner pocket for, you know, card, key, whatever, foam. But they're just uh, a charcoal flare legging. Ladies small. Uh, again, I'm kind of a sucker for Hawaiian shirts. I just feel like somebody's going to say, you know what, we're going to the beach or we're going on a cruise or whatever, and they're going to want a really great shirt. And this is a vintage tag, and it has the, um, let's see, let's see. No, different, different name on the dry cleaning tag. I thought maybe it was the same one as that mint green, but... Different name on the dry cleaning tag, but they did leave their dry cleaning tag in here. So let me take that off. It is a vintage tag. Um, Kahala. Kahala, maybe. It's a men's small. Of course, the other one was an extra large. Just a really nice quality feeling shirt. Um, blue and black and cream floral. Um... It is 100% silk. No wonder it feels so good. So, nice, nice shirt. I just know somebody's going to go on a cruise or go on a tropical vacation, and they're going to need that. Uh, this is... Um, this is Blue Pepper. I'm trying to think why, where I picked this up and why. And it was probably just for, um, just for style. It's sheer. It's a medium. I really can't remember why I picked this up. Um, oh, no, it's not. It's, um, well, I mean, it, it's altered state. And I guess altered state is kind of, I don't know, do they, are they kind of like anthropology and some of those places that they have, you know, different, because these little hang tags say blue pepper the inner tag says altered state, and that's why I picked it up. It's a ladies' medium. Sheer top, just kind of three-quarter length sleeve. Maybe a little Aztec kind of print to it. Um, this is a halter. It is a My Girls by Material Girls. It's, um, so you tie around the neck here. And then it's just got an elastic back. I just thought the print was really cute. And there's going to be some cute little young teenage girl or teen or early 20s. That's just going to look cute in that going somewhere this summer. This is a tee. Again, I think I got this at the bins. This is a tee size so six little red floral. Ruffle dress, kind of a three-quarter length sleeve. Let's see. Um, 
I think I got both of these skillets at the regular Goodwill. They are Revereware. They have got, they need some attention for sure, but I've got, got some stuff that I've been cleaning with. I've been slowly cleaning. Um, and hopefully I'll get, hopefully I'll get it all listed soon. Um, men's Adidas golf shorts, size 38 gray, kind of a blue gray. But you know, they just had that good, good feel to it. So Adidas golf. Um, I got those at the bins as well. Let's see. I think I picked this up at the bins. It's vintage Pendleton, um, size small, um, hundred percent virgin wool, kind of a rust colored cardigan sweater. Um, it did not have any holes or anything. So I picked it up. Um, wool sweaters have done, I've done pretty good with wool sweaters. Uh, picked these up at the regular Goodwill, little John Deere boots. Um, they still are in good condition. Still got a lot of tread on them. They are a infant six. And I'm going to, I'm going to brush them up a little bit. Um, they're not too bad. This one's a little worse, but I'm going to do some work on them. Clean them up good. Get them looking good again. Um, found these at the bins also. Uh, I really probably picked these up hastily thinking they were Matilda Jane because I don't think they go with anything else. They're called Adorable Essentials. They're a 6T. They're a little blue ruffle short. So they are along the same line as Matilda Jane. So that's probably why I picked them up thinking that they all went together. This is a Rothschild pink snowsuit, snowsuit overalls. Um, got a couple of spots on it that I've still got to treat and put in the wash. But um, Rothschild is a, a good brand. It's an older brand. Um, this is a girl's 4T. I just thought it was really cute. And um, I've got a couple of little snowsuits. Um, some I've sold, some I still have. Here's another, here's another napkin. So this is a ladies Nike golf size 16 golf skirt. Love the pattern. Just love the feel and the stretch that a golf skirt gives. I really like that. Nice skirt. Um, picked this up at the bins as well. It is a long maxi. Um, My Girls by Material Girls. I believe it is a small. I'm trying to see if I can find the tag. Uh, yes, it's a small black floral. I actually think it's inside out. Um, it has a kind of a deep V, um, cinched elastic kind of a waist. And then it has kind of a high split on the leg. So it's a maxi dress, very pretty, um, very sexy, kind of, you know, late evening dinner, something like that. It would be great. This is... I picked this up mainly for sizing. I can't really remember what brand it is. Let's see. I have such a hard time finding. Um, Kari, Kari, Kari Blue. Kari Blue Curvy 3X. It is kind of a high-low dress. It is um, spaghetti strap. Has kind of the ruffle around the chest area. And, um... Yeah, I think it's kind of a high-low dress because it's a little shorter in the front than it is in the back. But um, I picked that up for sizing mainly and, and print just because it's a nice summer print. And um, plus size does well for me. I uh, picked this up at the regular Goodwill store. Um, I don't know. I just was walking by. I don't look at their I Honestly... When I go in the regular Goodwill, I go to the hard goods section to look for pots and pans. I browse shoes, and then I go through jackets and hats. 
Um, this was not hanging in the jacket section. It was hanging in the clothes. This particular Goodwill, it's a little smaller and their clothes are just packed so tight and the aisles are so tight. I just don't have the patience to go through all that. Um, but this was kind of hanging on an end. It felt good. It caught my attention. It says Tyler Bow, I guess. B-O-E. Has a dragonfly. It's just a silvery gray with gold buttons. Um, puffer vest. I looked it up. It looks decent. It's a ladies size small. Um, I don't remember if I got this on the half price yellow day or if it was regular price, but it still was quite reasonable. And um, I just figured I'd try that brand. I've never tried that brand before. So let's see what we're down to. These are um, men's Columbia. I picked these up at the bins. $36.34. Um, pants, just Columbia pants. Um, they do have kind of the cargo pocket on the side. They're kind of that khaki green, depending on what light it's in, kind of olive. And I picked this up from a friend of mine. I'm missing a pair of chacas that I picked up at that thrift store where I got the Disney. Then it's Disney. Um, but they're a kid's chaka. I didn't get them over here. Picked this up from a friend who is um, <laughs> kind of a funny story. She's tried to sell her house before with no luck. So she kind of just forgot about it. And then somebody approached her about buying her house. And it all happened very quickly, and she has nowhere to go. <laughs> so she's selling stuff out of her home. So I've bought a couple of things from her to keep personally, and um, I'm still debating. I've listed the Patagonia vest. It's a ladies' extra large Patagonia vest in excellent condition. I picked this up from her, and uh, if I still have it come cold weather, I'll probably wear it because I really like it. And I don't have, I don't know if I have any Patagonia currently. Maybe, maybe one or two jackets. Anyway, just a gray, the better sweater um, vest. So I got that from her. Um, I'm not thinking she's going to be homeless, but um, their goal was to find some land and build. And this just happened really quickly. And they got to get out and she's got to get rid of some stuff because she really has nowhere to, go, nowhere to go. Bless her heart. Anyway, so that was, let's see, I did all of this. I went to the thrift store on Thursday. I went to the bins on a Friday. I went to the regular Goodwill on a Monday. I went back to the bins on a Tuesday and back to the regular Goodwill on Wednesday. That was all of last week. So I've got, um, I went to the Mississippi Gulf Coast this weekend for my other daughter who plays college softball. She had a game, so I did some thrifting on the way there and while I was there, and that's going to be my next video. And then I'm preparing some stuff to take to Once Upon a Child to see how I do there. So you'll get an update on that. I'm planning to take about 45 pieces, and we'll see how much of it they take and what kind of money I get from it. I'm not expecting a lot, but if it's something that I can at least get my money back on and take that money and maybe buy something better, maybe even at Once Upon a Child, maybe some more Matilda Jane or something like that. Um, you know, I'm moving, I'm moving that old stale inventory that's just not getting any, any views or anything like that and um, turning that over, getting it out of the house, things like that, because not, it's not going to change, I don't think, anytime soon. So, it's good quality stuff, but it's just not moving. So, I'm going to see. I'm going to see what they'll give me for it. So, until the end, today, here, currently, it is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So, y'all say a little prayer for mine that's at home, uh, a little under the weather. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be back to our normal selves and y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. It does help me out. It helps the channel. It helps get it out there to other people to see. And it's just my adventures and hopefully you learn something from me and I can learn something from you and we'll all have a good time. Thanks for watching.